Cinderbuster versus Talon. Suns fan here with Cinderin. Well, EG also beat Jabs' Timbersaw yesterday. Yes, so it is the off lane. It bled. It is the off lane Timbersaw. So maybe, actually, that's another. Why have we not seen the mid since the little mini patches? Q currently getting run down by these zombies and will fall as a result. So. Siamese Cat gets the first blood. Right. He seems harder to bully in lane than he was for a while. I don't know exactly what the reason is, to be honest, but it's rare that we see a morph lane just be annihilated recently. Yep, XXS. He's getting gone on by 23 Savage. Has the right clicks, and the adaptive strike actually is enough damage. Glad you're okay. Up some mail. He's going to get ganked, though. Gets off the split earth. Will connect initially, but gonna be too much damage to withstand. Siamese Cat does TP in, but it's... <laughs> Slight dodge the blood grenade. <laughs> Pretty quiet overall, and I mean, not too surprising, really. I think for me, the biggest surprise, again, is, is Encha's lower involvement in mid than we could have expected, but aside from that... Oh, mid lane. Oh, if they get him Ancient's again... Ancient's the mail. He's in quite a bit of trouble. Has that arcane root activated, but he dies. 3v2 in that mid lane. Meanwhile, Doom onto 23 Savage. He's trying to run it off as Monet showed up as well. He did get the strength morph off, so it's going to be still a pretty difficult kill. He's out of and as it now. dissipates, does, it actually does have waveform to get to the other side of the creeps, and he should be able to walk away now. But it's, you, it's always interesting to see Timbersaw's jungle, right? Because it's like, this hero used to be the number one lane bully, and True. he was just in the jungle for a minute and a half. Well, we got the first Mystic Flare of the game. That's going to delete. The Undying. I think they can just play the map as aggressively as they want, almost. I mean, sure, you can get Doom, but you have to keep him in mind. If Doom is showing on the map, though, I think the rest is pretty much completely safe. And they're going to find uh, some the mail. Oh, my God! Okay, that was a Mystic Flare, surely, because it did Mystic not show flare. up on the screen. <laughs> it's invisible half the time this patch. I don't know why. Yep. If if you're dying, it's probably that. Makoto. Makoto. He's going to be spotted now. Gets up the Slide of Fist. 23 Savage. A little bit of residual damage onto Baboka, and these supports are just dropping left, right, and center. Tombstone's still on the cliff, but you can see 23 Savage and company able to clean up. They take out Monet as well, so four dead as Talon getting everything that they want. 5k lead at 13 minutes. Okay, Ember isn't tanky, but he's elusive, right? Just hard to gank cores, mm -hmm. stable supports that can skirmish, and then... It seems like a recipe for success. Yeah, Mystic right Flare, we can see it this time. Deletes another hero. Wait, did and you see that right? Baboka's Both level four? Dead. What? He's level 14 four. minutes. XXS, he wants to get something out of this. Finally, the Doom comes out. Q will be Pulse Nova down eventually. Last right click from Sumail is enough. And now they turn the sights onto Timber, but the Split Earth misses. They have the slows. Now he's getting some support via Makoto and Ollie. Is he actually going to tick out? It's going to be close. They're not able to get the deny, actually, so he does end up dropping. Denial I mean, was the first step, so actually acceptance. Actually ridiculous to be level 4 minute 14 on inch. Yeah, that, that is an accomplishment in and of itself. I well, don't know the last time I've seen that one. Yeah, he got some levels XXS now. XXS on, on the high ground, gets off the war stop, only going to connect on the Rubik. They'll be able to kill him, but it's going to be the trade for the Doom very shortly. Mystic Flare comes out. Not quite enough to get the Undyne. They do find Makoto, oh, though. The chain. And Aster, they're actually getting a good fight out of this. They lose the Doom, but get three in return. Oh boy, that was... Yeah, there was a lot of things that went wrong for Talon there. They missed the Timber Chain on the way out from Jabs. Mikoto, I think, did not have enough time to throw out a Remnant either. Oh, oh they want this damage. kill. Monet, he is done for. Getting a little bit too overconfident. I mean, there's only two members alive for yeah. Talon, well, but apparently that's enough. Up. Yeah, but he morphed into Luna, so he just stole the stats. Now he's going to go Roche. Yeah, Aster are continuing Roche now, and... By the fountain, Monet, or the, whatever that thing's called, the tulips, the flowers. Sumail does get the split arm off onto the Morphling. 23 Savage continuing to get it. Yes, he does get the Aegis in the end. And now the BKB popped by Monet. They're fighting around this tombstone, and it's actually grabbed an ally. It got really fat all of a sudden. It was the Undying himself. And somehow nobody has died yet. Waveform in from 23 Savage. Adaptive Strike, not quite enough. Arcane Bolt is coming for the Doom, but he will likely survive. And 23 Savage and company, they will be able to take out some mail, but it's going to be the cost for their Ember. That's not the Boca Falls as well. Jabs has the Chakram coming out. 23 Savage actually pins them against the wall. Triple kill for Jabs as he comes in and finishes the job. Four dead. They lose their Ember, but everything else, including the Aegis.
Now, do they wait for the third Roche? Because their lead is not crazy, and you are going up against a Doom. The world is their oyster, right? Like, you just choose. You don't have to push. You don't have to... And Sumail has shard as well, so the split earth is going to be really annoying to... Well, they're going to run right into Sumail. Stunlock and the Doom. They're trying to get this timber side. He pops that active armor. He's going to blow up here very shortly, but he's not going to be near anybody. And kaboom. All right, they got Ollie. That's a good start for Aster. Is dead. Nice stop coming out from XXS. They will be able to bring down Timbersaw with the help of the Doom Ultimate. And now Q getting chased down, but man, this Skywrath is fast. How many shields of Scion stacks does he have? Not enough to survive this. As a triple kill for Sumail. So nice aggressive play from Aster. Makoto. Not the longest of spawns. Will offer himself up here. Yep, he has the shield rune activated, so if they want to actually go on him. Jabs wants to get aggressive. There's a split earth, and this is where Sumail's shard can really be a nuisance for Talon. And that was any a BKB any of these tight window. corners. Yeah, true. Makoto now has to be a little bit careful he doesn't get caught by a Doom War Stomp into Leshrac combo. Could potentially threaten him. And Astra are going to go for it. They have everything ready. Yeah, absolutely. They see him now with a the ward. They do. He still has that shield rune at half capacity. Split Earth actually does hit all. He's going to telekinesis himself, but there's the Doom. It actually gets reflected. So two players doomed right now as the reactive armor is pops to. Mail is melting, though, with even with the BKB. Bloodstone healing up a little bit. He does get healed by Siamese Cat and will live as a result, but has to kind of reset completely as Monet is bursted down by Jabs as the Doom finally dissipates on him. And Jabs is going to break everybody into the corner again as XXS drops to the deck. Sumail is next. Three dead for Aster, which looked like a pretty good fight outright, but that reflected Doom absolutely decimated them. Well, I mean, you break open an oyster and eat it. Is that what the, the saying is supposed to I, reflect here? Is I it, don't. Have the connection here. The double Mystic Flare Sumail will lift the initial onslaught. Pops the BKB. 23 Savage might expend his BKB here. Grab ally available to Astabrit, refusing to use it. The Doom died without using ult, no buyback at all. Grab ally still there, of course. You can see the arrow pointing at it. Wanting somebody to go inside. Many treasures lie beneath the tombstone. Oh, when you go and go grab, this should be like a mini game, like Indiana Jones, <laughs> when you're inside. And 23 Savage. He's got the moon glaives. Now they can start bouncing. Oh man, this damage. Yep, you got to do something about this now. Split Earth does hit. XXS wants to get the Doom out, but the Lotus is still applied. Lots of damage coming out from Ember. Spirit is the double Mystic Flare again. Makoto's in a bit of trouble, gets four staff to safety. But now Aster starting to fall near their fountain, although nobody technically dies. 23 Savage, Lincoln's is pop, has to be a bit careful. Still 45 seconds on the Aegis. Will likely try to consume it here. Refuse Can Aster even stone. kill him, though? Not even one time. Now Aster back into the fountain they go. BKB, really late BKB for Makoto. The tier 4 still remain up, but not for long. Another split earth comes out. As Aster refused to give this up, but they just can't do enough damage to even take this Morphling one time. And Sumail in a 1v1 battle with 23 Savage pops the Bloodstone, Waveform, it actually hits the Split Earth, very nice prediction. But Sumail will be forced to TP out, but the Lucent Beam will cancel it, and 23 Savage got his second life back. XXS, okay, he actually gets the Doom on the correct Morphling, but it's going to likely cost him his life, if not more. Grab ally still available, <laughs> but refuses to be used. And eventually the tombstone is brought down, and the hopes and dreams of game one of Aster go with it. Honestly, so Talon, game one victory, very impressive. I mean, it's a little bit sad that the highlight of the game that I feel like I can say for Aster was Sumail's individual play right there. There was actually a really cool kill he got on the morph. He pump faked his split earth. The thing about Doom against PL is you do have Scorched Earth, which is natural AoE. You can build into Shiva's, or you could just go Greaves and Crimson, and he does very little damage. But also, you do free farm against PL, like you absolutely yeah. free farm. Uh, this time around, Monet has a little bit more in the ways of setting things up, and as the panel talked about, no Morphling to worry about. Um, would love to see Baboka show up a little bit more in this game than he did in the last. Siamese Cat, he's gonna get blood grenaded. 
and likely run down, which means First Blood will go to Jabs on the Timber, which is, I feel like, the only hero I've seen him play in this tournament. <laughs> Smell's going to have an easy time. He should like. have a field day. That's part of the reasoning that I was thinking Talon might do it the other way around, is that they are just one of the only teams to play off lane Pango, so this time there was actually quite a bit of merit to it. You would avoid this situation as Timber, where you're fighting into the Undying, which can be annoying. Oh, Shackle shot level one from Monet. Jabs, Might you think quite a bit of trouble. Pops the stick, Blood Grenade again, Decay, and Death. Like we talked about, what Windranger does so well is she gets Focus Fire and she runs around and killing a single hero, and then she kind of resets, right? Yeah. In mid, you get those levels faster, and you start making those moves on the map. Um, and set up someone else to carry the game. Oh, Makoto, he's out of mana. Well, he pops the wand and just rolls away. But you can see Sumail already popped that haste rune as Doom has made an appearance as well. Going to use it onto the timber stall. Gets rolled on by Makoto, though, as Sumail continuing the pressure. Q looks to be mega dead. And Timber under the Tier 1 tower still. He's going to get Power Shot and brought down. So two kills for Aster. Make it three with the Sonic Wave from Sumail. And even Baboka looks to be living through this engagement, so no casualties at all. Very, and very good. You can see production. Jabs leading the way for Talon, as we're going to see him bottom rip right through the Undying. And Siamese Cat will eventually drop. Now, the only really real hero that can take down the Tombstone is the PL, as we're going to see. Makoto with that Rolling Thunder and a Swashbuckle oh, nice Hurricane, try. not quite there. Thanks, Top Baboka. net worth on Aster. Oh, as Firefly Blood Grenade and Lasso not able to bring him down to the low ground. Has to be a bit careful because XXS has showed up. Although Jabs is here trying to finish off Siamese Cat and he does so, but Doom, as in the ult, still available, but nobody really close enough to help out. Monet's TP. And Defusal now Double online. Double Defusal. They have one on Pango, one on the PL. Yeah, and Makoto's farm is, as we're seeing Baboka die, his farm is not particularly good if you look at it in compared to everybody else's. We have the Shackle Shot Focus Fire combination from Sumail. Q is dead. That's Monet. No grab ally. What? Here comes Sumail. Okay. Big Sonic <laughs> Wave. Double kill for Monet. Now jabs with that, that ult of his. Able to take out Windrunner in turn. Doom applied to the Pango. He's just going to roll away now. Yeah, I don't think Sumail is going to be able to pull this off. Sumail with the Shadow Strike, but see the War Stomp from XXS jabs. This is where the Blade Mail Okay, the Sonic Wave was stolen by Ollie. And that's going to be enough to push Aster back. Make the Octarine, of course, not as efficient as before because now the Ring of Health remains. But if you can turn it into something else later, then it would feel pretty value. Yeah. Uh, but he does not have his sights set on anything like that. Is Q finding Baboka has the lasso, brings him back to Jabs, and Makoto gets the final blow. Yeah, it's still it's a bit more than a 2k lead against the average lineup, I guess, if you will. But I, I just think overall, and it kind of oh, okay, oh, they really so want mail. The mail flame break. It was finally leveled just for you, Cinderin. So Mail able to blink out though. The Rolling Thunder still coming. Swash oh, misses. Miss. And Sumail will have Blink again, and he is fine. What and now Talon are quite deep. What did Makoto bounce on? I feel like he, hit a, he hit a stone. Well, the Shackle connects, and they will blow up Ollie. Wait, so the think... rest of Talon runs away. Oh. Just check. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is, yeah, it is. Can turn it. It's, yeah. a little, it's a little stone. It's a divot just for Pango players out there. Well, Pichu's dead. <laughs> what need have I for invisible? So Makoto will be going for the standard Aghanim Scepter on the Pango, and it will align pretty closely to his level 15 talent. And Talon will be in the pit now. Can Aster do anything about this? You can see them drawing on the map. They have an idea that this is occurring. Sonic Wave is up. Doom is up. So this could be a kind of risky for Talon. They're not really taking it that fast. But Aster... Be really careful, they Look ready to go. They have a good ward for when the smoke breaks. Yeah, they and it has out. broken. XXS jumps in, going for the Rubik first. Rolling Thunder is there. We'll connect on the Doom. Can he get his ultimate off? He does. It's on the blade mailed timber saw though. Buyback now into the Rubik, and Talon has to run away and at least reset. But now that Rush is at half HP, that opens up Aster's possibilities for taking it themselves. The same Swash time, though, is pretty big. 
They have no Doom and they have no Tombstone. These are two really, really big spells to expend there to only kill a Rubik. True. I think Talon should be happy with this. If they just get their resources back up and running, I think you can go in the pit again. Killing Timbersaw is going to prove to be really tricky if he gets back up to full health somehow. I don't know if they have a way of accomplishing that, but... Just time will okay, do it, I the pit They go, they scout it out with a power shot. The Ogre Creep is coming, watch out for that Ogre Creep! Flesh Golem as well, Decay, but... Will that be enough to dissuade Talon to get out of the pit? Indeed it does for the time being, but there's the last initiation onto the Undying. Siamese Cat in the pit. He's gonna get bashed by Roche if he's not careful. Flame Break as well. He is finally taken out by the swash of Makoto. And Sumail, so remember, he still has Sonic Wave, so this is a way to finish off Roche and try to steal the Aegis. As long as they have Vision in the pit to time it correctly. Oh, this is Buyback so now onto Siamese Cat. For Aster. So they keep walking in circles. They don't really know how to approach the fight now that they don't have Doom. And Talon are taking full advantage of this, just playing around the outskirts. Yeah, it's hard to get vision in this pit as well. The tombstone no place on the other side, as Ollie actually jumps in, but he gets stunned immediately. Infernal bladed as well, and is actually focused fire and brought down to his knees. There's the sonic wave on the two members of Talon, but the rolling thunder continues, and it looks like the Wind Ranger is going to get blown up to start this fight. Now Siamese Cat looks to be next on the list, but the Pango does get killed as well, as 23 Savage getting extremely low doppelgangs to safety, but Boca Fable to death, but Sumail finally finishes off the pesky Phantom Lancer, does have buyback on 23 Savage though. The Doom, after all of this is said and done, is back again, and used again <laughs> onto Jab. Can they kill him? He's in the pit, so some cover is made here. Makoto goes in with the Swashbuckle, no mana at all onto Sumail. Timber Chain destroys him, XSS with the help of the impetus onto Makoto. Shadow is he gonna live? Oh, the Swashbuckle oh, kills him and Roche takes him out in turn. Everybody's getting involved in this fight. Jad's trying to finish off Baboka with the help of Ollie. <laughs> they use the lasso pretty much for no reason, but at this point, just use everything at your disposal. A full team wipe in favor of, I think, Talon, but and a lot of buybacks to come as well. I mean, the real winner of this fight has to be Roshan, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's leveled up a shit ton, my he, goodness. He, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I love all these play this game and this uh, this team fight in particular. And the game as well, he's just been stable, but yeah. Oh, it's not over yet. It, it, this it might is. get contested. Roche is pretty damn low. It is over. Twenty three Savage finally gets the Aegis. That was a long winded Roche. Might you say so myself. Okay, I thought they were maybe gonna think about turning this one around, but with Timbers on the base not going to. Monet had used his entire wind run to try to run down the PL there. So he's obviously gonna be tankier, but they can still, as long as they get their Pango roll off before he gets doomed, or as long as they get their lasso off, we'll see. Oh, XXS, he jumps in, gets the Doom off. This is reserved for the support Batrider. Impetus blows him up. I just stole Doom. Just like that. Oh, you're right. <laughs> that is gonna be a scary one. So Mail might not be aware of this. He actually could be completely caught off guard. There's Alan no dagger on the Rubik. And Makoto, he has a shield rune, which will activate now. And he's priming up the ult. He's actually going to use it with that newly picked up Aghanim Scepter as well. And they're going to be able to clean up Baboka right off the bat. Bye, Baika. Tower's going to go there where? All he really wanted an opening. Actually, four steps out of the war stop, so it could have been worse. No, they don't. And it's it's all about getting vision in the pit. That's kind of a big deal. The nature of this fight that we just had in this game around that pit feels like it would not have happened like that in the old rush. Yeah. Oh, instant BKB. But you have the oh. lasso onto the Undying. He's going to die right off the bat. Another Doom on top of Jabs, who's just going to try to walk it off because Makoto's made a lot of space with this Rolling Thunder. And Rubik stole Scorched Earth. That's not, that would be very Dota if it worked like that. Roche Remember when seconds. everything broke trees except Macropire, which literally burns everything? <laughs> it's way. Oh, Siamese Cats can be spotted out. Jabs takes an impetus for his efforts. He's going to get stomped as well. He gets off the reactive armor just in time. Pops the blade mail as well, but he is doomed again. This time they might actually have enough damage. Is the Rolling Thunder from Makoto doing so much work in addition to the lasso. That is likely to be enough. Indeed it is to take out Monet. So it's a one for one, but Monet actually buys back. Jabs does not have that... That option. So, so male in the trees. He's getting Automata. drained of all his mana. 23 Savage is the only one going for him, though. Oh, they he's going to get shackled, though, and the focus fires. 23 Savage dies out of nowhere. Buys back. Ah, it's time to get the hell off. And Rosh is coming. Watch out. They cannot kill Peel a second time. They don't have focus fire, and they don't have Samil. So they're going to dip together with Rosh. Everybody goes on a trip. Uh, 23 but... Savage is going to greet them from Hello. the other side. Shackle does hit. 
But now, oh man, look at that cl gap close. Boboka brought back with the flame break and brought down to the grave. Siamese Cat will concede it. Don't back down. He's going to backpack his treads now, so he has the Lincolns completed. And this is going to be really difficult for us. Like, how do you output enough damage to truly bully 23 out of your base? He has all the protection in the world sitting behind him. Telekinesis from the There's Rubik Martyrdom. Right there. It's activated, Cinder. That's the purple. Oh, it looks cool. Undying also took that. Very pretty. Uh, Doom, up. Doom is trying to exit the game. <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> Oh, so Is that talking? where you break your items? There's the initiation. Double four staff with the lasso puts Enchantress on the wrong side. But Boboka does have buyback available. I don't know how they defend without Doom, though. So this will be conceded. Although they do fortify, and there is backdoor protection. Oh, wait, Rolling Thunder, though. There's the roll up as well. Delicious fruity roll up. But he's able to be pushed away, so not able to find real good connection. But this will be a second set of racks. Regardless, and Talon have their sights set on Megas. And they have their sights set on a 2-0. And Aster do anything about it. There's the focus fire into 23. BKB popped by Monet. He needs to go in a little deeper, but not sure if he's going to find a connection. And it's just the Aegis they're trying to get through as well, with 44 seconds remaining on it. And you can see 23 Savage like, please, kill me! <laughs> kill me! It's not fun when he wants it, though, so they back off. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so he's going to wait it out. I mean, anytime it's under 30 seconds, you do have to be a bit careful. Another 30 seconds to try to get another initiation. We weren't able to force out the buyback, but these illusions still doing chip damage on this tower. So eventually this will fall. They got to be careful walking too close to this wall here as well. Q could flame break them across. I'm dying. Yeah, Tip back off there and not get caught in that, but... Tower's oh, there. the, the timing! Under XXS. He does get the Infernal Blade, but the Telekinesis saves the PL again, but the Focus Fire still applied to him right now as XXS gets a nice stun onto two. The Sonic Wave to follow. The Timber Saw looks to be his main sight right now. They will be able to get that, but the buyback did come out on the Q. He's going to reconnect with his team. Jab still holding on to his. And again, now that Doom is down, Talon might just want to go in and finish this, despite this being 4v5. I feel like if you want to push here, you need to buy back your Timber. Like, don't half-ass it. Either go for it or don't. Yeah, well, there is the lasso initiation onto XXS. Pops the BKB. And Makoto, he's going to get Focus Fire. Better be careful. He can get ripped apart very easily. He will find his way to the low ground, and we'll be okay. And 23. That's a dead undying. Yeah, undying just gets drained of all his mana and now his life. But Siamese Cat does have buyback. These supports holding oh. onto it for quite a while. There's the war stop. It does connect this time. 23 Savage. He's going to get brought down if he's not careful. Doppelganger. But only one remains. Power Shot does hit him. Sumail going in as well. Pops the Bloodstone in the last right click. Will be enough. So yeah, big miscommunication between Talon and Jabs. It, it seems like it's Makoto is brought down as well. Definitely a stalemate right now. Some good Radiant Vision here from Aster. Yeah, rolling Thunder initiation. Doom goes off a little bit too late. XXS not able to find any type of connection. Focus fire on a Makoto, but he's going to roll away. A couple impetuses are hitting him as well. But it looks like a, a reset here from Talon. But they know that Doom is down. Focus fire is down as well. XXS, Refresh. he gets the refresher off. Another Doom, but these are just illusions, XXS. Oh, no. Aster getting baited hard. And that means Talon can go back in, but Doom is still up, so he timber chains right into it for some reason. Sonic wave to follow. Jabs gets four staff. Looks like he's going to timber chain to safety. There is the initiation finally onto Sumail, who dies. Has Jabs to buy back now. Consolation engaged so that XXS doesn't feel so bad about his <laughs> Doom. He's like, you hit me. <laughs> uh, he did bait him out. Honestly, that oh. looked kind of reckless from Jabs, but he did survive it. It was kind of close, but he yeah. baited the man. So they have the vision. Boboka goes down. And Talon still sitting on the Aegis. They yeah. know that one Doom is down. Sonic's down for a bit. Flesh Golem down for a long time. You see Rolling Thunder ready in 35. Yeah. And the best time to fight is actually... Oh, maybe now. Monet. Focus fires there. Gleipnir connects onto 23 Savage as well. He's going to continue to get chased by the Wind Ranger, but has to reset now. And there's the lasso onto Sumail. He's completely surrounded, but blinks out with help from that Lotus. 
And all the while, Doom does not have his ult, has not used the Refresher. Looks like Baboka is going to be the first to be cleaned up. Leipnir holding 23 Savage in place again. This is a lax remaining barracks here for Aster, and there's the buyback. On a Baboka, 23 Savage oh, nice getting controlled now. Shackle on the two. Focus fire as well. Here's a Sonic Wave only on the one, but it is Makoto, and it's a very valuable kill at that. Reactive armor. It's going to blow up and do almost no damage. As Jabs now, kind of stuck in the corner, actually will eat the cheese, so we'll survive a little bit longer, but there is the AoE XXS Doom. Doppelganger coming out, he's actually chasing, he wants to die with his Aegis. He'll get the Doom first, Aegis still remains. And another lasso comes out, this time onto Sumail. No buyback. No buyback at all. Second Doom from XXS. He'll be able to finish off the Timber Salt, we'll buy back into the game now. Makoto, this will be a huge kill, they're able to get it, they do, Pango diebacks. Now the PL, he's completely out of mana. XXS forced to TP away. This should open it up for the Mega Creeps for Talon, despite not having their Pango. And it indeed will be the case. Another missed Timber Chain from Jabs, despite there being an entire forest of trees right there. <laughs> As the Ancient is now completely exposed, and 23 Savage can just right-click away, knowing that Sumail cannot buy back. They're losing a lot of the damage, but Monet gets off this... Okay, Jabs actually is going to die back as well. And 23 Savage trying to finish this game despite not having two of his cores in the game. He's completely out of mana. Still the Aegis intact for 45 seconds. So probably can just right click the Ancient. Lasso is there to help provide some space. And Talon finally win this game. Very exciting way though. 2 0. Well played from them. Yeah, really nice. Uh, really nice result from them. I was not expecting them to 2 0 here today.